Hi, it's Chelsea from QBBox.com. I'm here with Michael Sarr, who's one of the stars of NBC's Mama's Boys. Right. And he's going <laughs> to tell us all about the experience and a little bit about his life and where he's going from here. Yeah. So, Michael, why don't you tell us about how you started out and the things that you did before Mama's Boys and what led into it? When I was, um, I mean, pretty much between music and acting has kind of been my deal my whole life. When I was uh, 20, I started DJing. So I ended up totally, like, falling in love with DJing. It, it, it like, took over my life. I live off of it today, yeah. and um, so it, it's a passion. it's a total a total passion of mine. Um, so you know, get into Mama's Boys a little bit. How did you get involved with that? And was your mom a little anxious about it, nervous <laughs> about doing that? She was. Uh, it, it was funny because how it all happened was my mom was just at work, and she should have been working when she was on online <laughs> surfing, and all of a sudden she ends up on the uh, the website, mm -hmm. um, just on NBC, and she sees this show, and it's called Mama's Boys. And she's like, oh, my God, this is like, this is like, this is like me, and, me and my son's show. My mom's like, I have to write back. So she writes back. 20 minutes later, they write back to her. Oh, wow. And That's they say, awesome. we want to meet you and your son. Mm -hmm. So she's like, oh, my God, here's my number. They call. They spoke to her. And they said, okay, we, you know, we, we like you. We want to go ahead and talk to Michael now. She ah. calls me on my, on my cell phone. And she, mm -hmm. goes, she goes, you're going to kill me. And I said, wow. I said, what did you do? And she goes, I don't know. I was online and I saw this <laughs> show called Mama's Boys, and they they want to talk to you. Now, if you do you think if your mom could write down all the qualities she'd want for you, what would that be? Uh, somebody who has a great personality. I mean, personality is excellent. <laughs> I, I'm kind of a fun, kind of goofy guy anyway, so you know, I definitely I'm looking for that as well. With Rob and Jojo, did you guys like make good good friends during the Absolutely. process? You guys close? If I were to get nothing else out of this whole show. Mm -hmm. It was well time spent with my mom, and it was I, I made some lifelong friends. Going from Mama's Boys, you know, you've got some more exposure and things on that. Right. Where are you going? From here? I'm actually going to be doing a, um, a tour oh. uh, on, on my of, of DJing. I'll be DJing a lot of um, you know big clubs mm -hmm. um, at the Winter Music Conference, which is a huge week long extravaganza, big on house music. Um, pretty much every house, good house DJ in the world. Oh wow! People like Tiesto, which is the number one DJ in the world, will be at, win at the Winter Music Conference. What would you say to somebody that maybe an aspiring DJ or an actor or singer, anything? What would right. you? What advice would you give to them? Watch and learn. You know, just sit back, take it all in, take advice. You know, people that have been there and done it, let you know, listen to them. I, I was faced with, with a huge decision because my initial investment on my DJ gear was like forty six hundred dollars, and for you to be like, you know, going from a hobby to spending almost five thousand dollars was a big, <laughs> was a big decision. But you know what? Go what your heart tells you to do, and I went with it, and I and I thank God today that I did because you know it's it's leading here. to very very good things. So mm -hmm. follow your heart. Well, for more information about Michael Sars' DJing or Mama's Boys, check back on KiwiBox.com.